How are you doing and how have you been? My name's Taz Astical, and of course we're back with RimWorld. Just as we left off last episode, Lewis had an absolute breakdown. So he's going on a food binge, which, you know, could be a murderous rampage. So really, it's the lesser of all the evils. So I'm happy with that. We've got some travellers coming through, you know, they want to max relax in our colony. Can't really blame them when a colony, our nice, you know, pops up in the neighbourhood. I really want to start making more progress to be able to actually get into the mountain, but I feel like every episode I'm going to end up saying that and get never closer. But it's fine, it's just one of them things. That's the only problem with doing like 30 minute episodes, like with like a base builder like RimWorld, or I suppose anything, it just takes a while to do stuff. Genius wasn't done in a day, everyone. Just sort of having a look around just to see if there is any sexy resources nearby. Food wise, we're still golden. And we're at the point where we just need to get wood every episode. Which, to be fair, we'd be in a worse situation if we had like a wood fuel generator. Because that would just eat wood like nobody's business. Uh, let's turn this off so we can actually, sorry, on, so we can actually burn all these dead bodies. Shame you couldn't get like a resource from it. I don't know what that would be though. Ghost essence? Human essence? That just sounds like porn though. I will trade you my human essence for some gold. No, Jimmy. Get out of your room. Go outside. Go and play. But mom. I'm reliving a fantasy that's obviously in a porn somewhere. Oh, we've actually pretty much come out of winter. I know it still says we're winter. But outside, the weather's improving. Like I said, I knew our winter isn't going to be crazy. So it looks like it's about a month. Which really is pretty much nothing. Should We should have destroyed all these crops, but we didn't. You guys didn't remind me, so, you know, you're going to have to take the blame on this one, I'm afraid, guys. You just should have been paying attention a little bit more. An abandoned child is passing by. He is named Squirrel. Of course he is. <laughs> uh. Oh, a power cable went down. Uh, power, 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 power. We still are struggling for power. I wonder if we do need to get a generator up. I really would like to be in the position where we actually had the room to be making uh, biofuel. Because we could have got like a biofuel generator up. Hmm. Yeah, the energy situation is sort of boring me a little bit. Yeah, spring has become, um, it's become, <laughs> has begun. What I will do, hmm, yeah, as I'll tell them to stop, oh no, if I click that. The thing is, I want them to harvest it. I just don't want them to keep growing in it. So I really would like to get these sorted. But if I click to get them sorted now, then there's going to be so much to grow that their tasks are just going to be all over the place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give them probably the rest of today just to make sure the kill box is sorted, get them cleaning, that sort of stuff. And then we'll get back to actually getting some stuff done. Borba's resistance. Are you nearly like recruited? Recruitment chance. No, no, you're miles away. Reed, how far away are you? You're actually going to probably become part of the part of the crew this episode. So let's get a bed up ready for you. Because you don't want to be in no um, bed and breakfast for too long. Remember, PG guys, they're not prisoners. They're bed and breakfast. I nearly said victims. <laughs> hey, we give them good meals. Does it actually say what's in the meals? The turkey, meat, rice, corn... If that's not nutritious, I don't know what is. 
hauling. I really would like these dead bodies to get sorted. Um, let's, no, let's turn that down. Let's get your hauling up. Right, there's no research at the minute because we just wanted to get some stuff around the colony sorted, so that's fine. Probably not this episode, probably next episode we'll get mortars up. I was just about to panic then, I saw on the right hand bottom corner, minus 17 degrees indoors. Then I realised it was our freezer. <laughs> there we go, all them dead bodies are sorted, which is actually really, really nice. Can we chop that tree down, because that will cause all sorts of problems when AIs are walking on. Uh, steel, we're good with wood, we're oak, well we're not really. Can we cut any of these down yet? One. Woo! Okay. Um. Yep, yeah, there we go. Hunting McLaughlin. A 20-year-old healer named McLaughlin. That reminds me of McLovin. <laughs> That's how bad that is. That's like Beyonce, McLaughlin. McLovin. That's that's his name. Um, he's called. Oh, I need to pause this while I'm actually like reading this. He's calling nearby. He's being chased by the tribe's people. So he begs for safety. If you accept, so he will join our colony. We can't find any information. He's being chased by eight people. We can deal with that. What I'll do is, because it's going to be in three hours. Is everyone actually in? One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four. Everyone's in anyway, so we'll just accept that. Because at this point, I'm um, getting McLovin in. We'll be, I hope we can change his name. Like he hasn't even met anyone in the colony. He's already got a nickname. Oh, please be a good character. He's a cannibal. Not crazy. Can we change his name? Muck. Lovin. There we go. We've got McLovin. <laughs> no other name. Just McLovin. If you don't know that reference, I can't help you. If you do know that reference, you can get 10 Tazastical points. Redeemable at any third rate bank. So he'll come in there, and then a group of, what did we say, eight people will come and attack us? We'll be able to sort them out, no, no problem. Mick, are you getting any closer to f level five crafting? No. Because it doesn't look like cutting the blocks is actually even getting you up levels. It doesn't look like it. I wonder if we're going to actually have to get him to, like... Might have to get him to make some clothes and stuff. So McLovin's going to need some... Look, because there's hats there. Why are the hats not being made? Uh, Mick, 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 Mick. Let's push this right up. Oh, God. Because you should be doing it anyway. Smithing's number one, but you ain't got the materials. Well, I know you grow. Saying that, McLovin can come in and he can be our designated grower, which is actually big news for the colony. So everyone welcome McLovin. Hi, McLovin. Could you tell that was the colony talking? I know, I do good works on my sound effects, don't I? So he'll be the grower. If he's not growing, he can go cluck, cut some plants. Um, no, Diva's the artwork, so you're fine not doing any art. Well, I suppose you can just clean and haul. I'm happy with that. Push up cleaning to three, and then I can put four. You have like a slight passion for it. Mick, we're going to have to take him off a couple of things. Because he is sort of the jack of all trades at the moment. The problem is, is you're always going to be crafting. So you're the constructor. Then you mine. 
Van, oh, the problem is, Van's got some really good stats. The problem is, is Van's got like a double passion for research. So I don't really want to take Van off that. Mick has just got so much to do. But the problem is, is when I find they've got an Ill- inability to haul and stuff, I just find it's really hard to actually prioritise stuff for them because they always sort of get bored. Where with cleaning and hauling, you know, in a colony, there's normally enough of that so if they don't have an activity to do they can then fall back on that and just you know take the bins out for the dustbin man they have come to get me who's mclaughlin mclaughlin's not here mclovin's here yeah i'm so happy with that i'm probably a bit too happy about that to be honest so mclovin's coming back to base a lot of archers it looks like they're all archers is that all eight of them? That definitely is them all. Cool, cool, cool. We should be able to sort it out. McLovin, are you... He has a passion for shooting, which is actually really, really handy. I don't think we have a spare ranged weapon, which is a bit sad. Um, Where is McLovin? No, he's just taken a while. He's a slow person. I always forget to actually look. Are they... So they will prepare before they attack. So that's fine. We should be able to deal with them. They might even get like the... the I always call it the army loss penalty, but it's not. But like the attack penalty, where if they lose a certain amount, then they retreat. They might even get that through hitting all these traps. But if not, we'll have someone here just meeting them with some weapons. Like Van and Lewis are our shooters. Oh, look at that. I'm even getting to know who's who. It's almost like I pay attention when I play this game every now and then. Not all the time, but every now and then. Yeah, power keeps going out, but I think it's because we haven't turned that off. And that's that takes up a hell of a lot of power. We could probably do with actually turning that off as well. But geez, you'd think three solar panels would be able to do it. See, this is why the coal and... Oil industry, they don't want no solar panel. Look at this, we need like a million. Drill more holes, drill more holes. That could mean anything. <laughs> Let's be honest, that could mean anything. Don't be dirty, I didn't mean it like that. What would McLovin think if he could hear you? See, we could have had McLovin, we could have had Jam. McLovin Jam. He's loving it. No, this is getting bad. This is getting bad. I wouldn't say it's getting cringe, but it's... Yeah, it's getting cringe. Anyway, let's hit speed free and actually play this game like we're actually trying to be serious. Okay, here comes the attacker. So we'll make sure we get... Mm, probably don't need to move them in yet. Let's wait until they get a little bit closer. Okay, here we go. So, Mick, you're our melee guy. Congratulations, you're going to get at least punched in the head twice. And then Van and Lewis. Oh, I really panicked then and thought they were attacking that door. When I panicked, I'd have cried. Okay. Oh, I was just about to hit the pause button, thinking Diva was about to... Oh, Mick was miles away. Okay, so we do have some shooting to go on. Mick, run in and buff him up. Mike Tyson them. Go for the ear. Come on. There we go. We're the champions. All of them died. Mick, take Raptor out. These random names are just funny. <laughs> Right, allow all these bows, because that's actually quite a lot. And the people that don't have guns can actually just start equipped in bows. So you're going to kill Raptor, because no one attacks us and gets away with it. Boom, melee level 2. Which is actually quite good, he got an extra melee um, level. However, if he, we're going to keep meleeing with him. We're going to want some armour on him and stuff like that. Because as anyone knows that plays this game. Injuries are just a pain. 
because if they get hurt, it's a mood decrease, and then there's a potential for infections, which you could die, and... Yeah, it pretty is a grim game, this, isn't it? Hey, I think I don't think we're playing grim. We're sort of looking after people. They burnt my crops down. They're my absolute scoundrels. I don't come to their home and burn their bushes. I burn their mum's bushes. Ah! Lads, lads, lads. So it's all, it's, it's all good here. We have some visitors. I don't want to be like dissed. They don't want their mum's dissed. They thought, nah, nah, we'll come over. We'll come over. We'll be civil. We'll chat to them. Lewis is fully healed. Mick, how are you doing health-wise? Like, you, know, you just got a crack in your jaw. It's not too bad. Sounds bad, but in the grand schemes of Rimworld, that's probably one of the like the nicest injuries you can get. We will see what these visitors have to trade. I think Mick, you're actually... Mick's going to be a bit miserable, me waking him up. But we've got a trade with a pig man. It's not an insult, his name's Pig. <laughs> Okay, um, so let's sell cloth jacket, all this, because it's all poor quality anyway. Wall pants, uh, we'll keep the duster. We could just sell all the bows and all the weapon. So I think we'll keep like three bows and then absolutely sell the rest. We'll sell them drugs because I don't want anyone having drugs. If I can't have them, no one can. However, I have just realised that's more money than actually Pig has got. So let's take all your herbal medicine. Um, and it hasn't really done anything for us. So what I'll do is I'll keep the bows. Oh god, you've got no money. This is... Come on, boo. It's like when you sell something online and then all of a sudden it's like, Oh, can I have it for cheaper? Uh, yeah, that will do. Oh, I was hoping to get rich quick then. Like a pyramid scheme. I suppose pyramid schemes on Rimworld would be a bit difficult. We could do it. We sell drugs, you sell drugs. Drug dealing is a sort of pyramid scheme. I don't think they advertise it like that, though. And to be fair, you do make quite a lot of money. I'm told there's risks to it, though, but... I think that's just people being negative. Who's ever been arrested for dealing drugs, anyway? That's why it's so good on Rimwell. No one can arrest us for it, because uh, we are the cops. Like, cops pulls you over and says, do you want some cocaine? Let's be honest, that would be a weird entrapment. He'd do it with you, then arrest you. Now, <laughs> right, cool, we're burning all the dead bodies. Is that allowed? It's not a war crime if you can't find the bodies. What do you mean, America? We didn't mass murder, like, a thousand people. Where's the proof? Well, we have seen that you've been building these big furnaces. And the smell is... It sort of smells of rotting carcass. It's not us. If that Caroline can get, a, like, away with it in, like, Tiger King, we can get away with it. If you ain't watched that on Netflix, then... You're missing out. That is just something else. Okay, we need food. I am not paying attention. Let's kill some does. Um, is it just... We're just waiting on the crops. So the corn will be ready soon, to be fair. It is already at 85%, so that's not too bad. And then we'll be McLovin' it. <laughs> I bet you guys are so glad I named him that. Remember, we had, like, 
Oh yeah, that's what I want to see. Mick, is your crafting level actually going up? No, I don't think you actually get crafting levels from making blocks. Yeah, you can see, you don't get anything for making blocks. Which I get is sort of a necessity, but if you get experience from cutting down trees, then why wouldn't you from cutting blocks? If anything, cutting down blocks would be more skillful. Like I, I think. Watch someone in the comments. No, it is going up. It's just not that skill. Well, uh, Royal. Oh, we could sell some prisoners. Then everyone would get upset. Boo hoo. Prisoners have ro the bed and breakfast people. Sorry. Like, boo hoo. They're people too. Yeah, but there'll be people elsewhere. And hey, we could do like a whole psychopath run where we take in prisoners just to cut off their body parts, sell them and their body parts. So really, we're not really bad. We're just sort of bad. The silence is me debating it. Now everyone will get miserable because you basically need everyone to be like cannibals and psychopaths and then... It's surprisingly like the easiest game you've ever had. Because then every attack is like a dinner bell going off. And human is meant to taste like bacon. I've heard. My lawyer made me say I heard. I'm pretty sure there was someone in America that was either offering out like chunks of him to eat. Or someone was like offering... Something like that. Uh, cargo pods. And we get a gift from them, even though we didn't give them any slaves. Cargo pods. What have we got? Smoke leaf leaves. So we could make some, make some marijuana. It's bad and good. Got an ancient danger in there that we'll have to break into eventually. See what goodies we get. That that might be a um, <coughs> safe scum. <laughs> the thing is, we're in a nice position where we could actually open it, run away. The machines would get killed by the kill box. To be fair, we'd probably need another layer to the kill box. But then it's the caskets that are inside. And like, do they always have people? Because every time I've like opened them, they have like a group of ten people with machine guns that are ready to like blow your face off. Got a manhunter pack, so let's tell everyone to come inside. Let's make sure everyone is inside. So we have six people. One, two, three, four, five, six. Nice. Because the amount of times I tell everyone to come inside and then someone's across the other end of the map. Oh, there's quite a few wolves. Mm, there's eight altogether. We should be okay. If not, Lewis is fighting them on his own, so good luck to you, Lewis. McLovin will cradle them. Cradle them like a supple bottom. Don't destroy the door. Don't destroy the door. Don't destroy the door. What are you doing? Oh, this is all going bad. All going bad. Everyone, everyone. Ground control. Ground control to Major Tom. Everyone, help me, please. The kill box is not going well. It's not going to plan, everyone. Oh, that, look, the door's about halfway. Okay, I don't know why they, like, randomly chose to attack it. Good thing is we have got some meat from this. McLovin hasn't got anything to do, which I do feel a bit bad for him. Okay, we got through that little scare. I mean, you know, I knew they weren't going to come in and do anything, guys. Okay, let's just wait for that other fox to commit suicide on my traps. Then... Come register every, everyone. Nice, nice, nice. Go about your business. Oh, God, we are making headway in here. Look at us go. Uh, granite wall all the way down there. 
We need that mined out. Wait, do we? Yes. That was utter confidence me saying yes. Uh, can you mine that spot? Jeez, come on. It's got to look nice. Research. Let's get back on research because actually we've had it turned off for quite a while now. It's just a case of what do we want. We could get plate armour. We haven't got a smithy or anything. But for our melee ch uh, chap, that could be quite handy. And to be fair, we've got a few people on melee duty. Long blades. Uh, smithy again. Long swords, spears. Could be quite badass. Or we could just go straight for like chain shotguns and heavy SMGs. <laughs> yeah, let's go do that. It's like when people say the the pen is mightier than the sword. Just think, well, they were never a one on one combat, were they? I never knew like knights riding into battle. No, my king. I will lay down my sword for this pen. <laughs> Someone when I was saying in the comments, well, actually, there was this time where Sir Arthur did. Sir Arthur can take his pen. Put it up his mum. <laughs> Jeez, we're funny on this channel. <laughs> I'm sort of like heckling myself now. That's always a bad shout. Let's put it on speed free. Everyone sleep on. The people in the bed and breakfast have never been so happy. They've never seen an establishment this great. Make RimWorld great again. That's the slogan. Uh, yeah, no, we want to leave that on. Are we burn in the pet corpses. Yep. Just want to make sure they're all going to get um, burnt. He said killed. We well, got one bit of meat out of it. Oh, no, no, we got a little bit. We got a little bit, to be fair. Didn't realise it all went rotten so quick. It looked like a couple of them stayed fresh, but they must have still had some life to them. Just eat them while they're living. That's what bears do. Bears are cruel. It's like one of the only animals that, like, eats stuff while it's still alive. Like, jeez. You never see that in Winnie the Pooh when you're growing up. No, he just licks honeys out of holes. No, it's, it's true, though. That's all Winnie the Pooh does. He goes into random holes in the, in the trees and licks honey out. And licks it until honey comes out. Okay, and if you got to this part of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment. I'll catch you next time, party people. Bye.